Hi, this is Kevin Crazy Dog Smith. Welcome to my channel. We are doing a small tutorial today on how to access the game bar, which is the game recorder and screen capture that's already in Windows 10, which I didn't know that until recently, and I am now using this particular recorder, and I'm getting really great quality uh, game recordings. And uh, I don't have to use third-party recorder anymore. I like that. Okay, well, let's get to it. Okay, let's get this going. Uh, in order to bring up your game bar, which is where the recording software is to record your games or screen capture, anything on your screen will be captured with this. It's really screen capture, not a recorder. We gotta scroll, go to start menu. We gotta scroll down to the Xbox app. If it's not in there, you need to find it in, uh, in your apps over here uh, on the left. You can scroll down and it will find your Xbox app if you don't have it already in your shortcuts. Uh, and you click the Xbox app because it is at the all the way at the bottom in the X's. And see, I've already got the game bar going, so it says press Win plus G. That's not the one you want to press, though. Well, actually, they bring the game game bar up, I guess. So let's see here. <coughs> okay, now you click Settings. Uh, now you may have to go over here to the bar all the way to the left if you don't have the same box I have up here that says Settings and Don't Show Again. The reason I keep it is because I want Settings. And uh, you can go to the left all the way down at the bottom, and that's settings. So I'm going to click settings here. And then we have general, and it tells you information about everything and uh, w what you're doing. And, and then we go to game DVR, that's what we want. And that, that goes to, at the top it says record game clips and screenshots using game DVR. You definitely have to have that on if you want it to work. To open the game bar, when you're getting ready to record, you hit Windows key plus G and then you can actually hit the red button on that and start recording. Uh, I found that not to be the easiest because as soon as you do that it disappears and I've had a few times where that game bar did not open at Win plus G, it just didn't. But uh, the start stop recording keys are Windows key, Alt plus R. You press all those at the same time and it will start recording and you press all those again at the same time to stop the recording. Uh, you can take a screenshot, which you can read on the screen right now that I have up. Windows Alt plus Print Scan, whatever the hell that means. P R T S C N, which I don't think I even have that on my computer. No, oh uh, yeah, Print Screen. Okay, Print Screen. Got it. Okay. Um, then you mark microphone recording on and off. You can turn it on and off. Uh, I leave it on. Now, if you want it off, it's in while you're recording. It's Win Alt plus M. You, that's easy. You just look at the screen. It tells you the shortcuts. Now, on the right, it says your shortcut. And I set these up to be more user-friendly for me, but I've noticed they don't always work that well. So I use the window shortcuts, and I, I suggest you do too. Now, next, background recording. It says record in the background while I'm playing a game. Well, I turn that off because I'm already recording the game. I don't want the game clips. And as below, game clips, maximum recording time, 30 minutes. Game clips, just go on your Xbox app, and anybody who's a friend can watch them. But they can also watch the movie you just recorded or, or the game. Uh, okay, saving clips uh, or captures. That goes into your uh, Windows video folder, your standard video folder on your C drive. If you want to move it to a secondary hard drive, you have to click learn how to save in another folder, and it's pretty damn easy, and they'll tell you how to do it. And then the audio, record audio when I record game clips. If you want audio, need to click that on. Audio quality defaulted on mine at 128 kilobits per second, and that's good enough. Next, record my microphone. Next time I record a game, I leave that on if I want my microphone recorded. In fact, I pretty much leave it on all the time. On my headset, I will turn the micro microphone off if I don't want to use it. And uh, on the volume mixer, microphone I'd have it turned all the way up so people can hear my voice easier on the system the games are so loud usually the one all the ones I play I have to have the system down a little over halfway down in order to hear my voice and everything properly and the game is still loud video encoding is I run it on standard which is 1080p in this computer and the video resolution yeah that's 1080p and the uh, the uh, I'll tell you I'll show you what it is Video quality, you can put on high 60 frames per second, which is actually probably standard to run in 30 frames per second, which is plenty good for a capture program. You got high and standard, but I'm pretty sure I'm already going at 1080p, so I'm not going to hit high. Uh, I'm getting really good quality, and that's what you can do is play with it. But if you will lose frames per second, the higher you set this up, 
in your game. You don't want to do that at all. And uh, this pretty much covers it. You can use this screen to see what you need to do uh, as far as the shortcuts go. And uh, I am going to leave a link to one of the games, the first game that I used this uh, recorder on to see if you like the uh, quality of it all right. Now, it's not always as good as what it is on your screen, but it's pretty damn close, I think. Uh, so I think this should conclude the tutorial for today. I appreciate you watching. Thanks, and we will see you later. Mm -hmm.